superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found on Sunday, we will learn to spell long O words. On Monday, we'll be learning about the long O words, words that contain O, A, O, W, and words that end with O, E. And we'll be learning about consonant blends and trigraph. On Tuesday, we will learn about the story inside your body. On Wednesday, we'll be learning about adverbs. And on Thursday, we'll be learning about informational writing and how to draft a paragraph. We will learn to spell long O words and words that contain O, W, O, A and words that contain O, E in them. So any words that contain O, E, O, W or O, A, they are read as a long O words. The spelling words for this week are toe, grow, coat, toast, boat, and snow. Now let's learn to use these words in sentences. I can't feel my fingers or my toes. He grows rice. She decided on the red coat. My brother ate two eggs and a slice of toast. Do you have a fishing boat? The train was delayed by the snow. In phonics, we'll be learning about the long O words, words that contain O, A, O, W, or O, E in them. We have a boat, a toe, and a crow. Long O spelled O, A, O, W, or O, E. The long O sound is spelled O, A as in boat. The long O sound is spelled O, W as in crow. The long O sound is spelled O-E as in toe. Now let's read these words. We have blow and goal. Consonant blends and trigraphs. Consonant blends and trigraphs. Three consonants at the beginning of a word are spelled together and make a blended sound like the T-H-R in throw and the SPL in split. Let's read the word splash. In this week, we'll be reading the informational book titled Inside Your Body. Inside Your Body teaches you about the wonders of the human body. It explains the various systems that keep the body functioning like an amazing machine from the skeletal system to the digestive system and more. The objective is to use the reading strategy of asking and answering questions and to identify the main ideas and details. An adverb is a word that modifies or describes a verb, adjective, or another adverb. Adverb provide information about how, when, where, or to what extent an action is performed. When they modify the verb, they describe how an action is carried out. For example, she runs quickly. So quickly is an adverb. She sings beautifully. Beautifully is an adverb. When they modify the adjective, they provide more detail about the quality being described. The dog is very friendly. Very is an adverb. It is an extremely hot day. Extremely is another adverb. Adverb can modify other adverb, indicating the degree or manner in which something is done. For example, she speaks English quite fluently. Quite is an adverb. She dances very gracefully. Very is an adverb. They worked extremely hard. Extremely is an adverb. And this is semester we will start writing paragraphs and we will learn how to write informational writing so when we write 
An informational writing, you should start with the main idea or the topic sentence. And you should have three facts or three details that support the main idea. And then you end it with a closing sentence which restates your whole idea or the big idea.